architecture, one Newman architecture, hardwood architecture. In one Newman architecture, program and data memory are common. So there will be single memory which will hold both program and data. Whereas in Harvard architecture, data memory and program memory are two separate entities. The differences and advantages, disadvantages of the one new architecture and Harvard architecture are shown in this table. In one new architecture, it uses single memory space for both data and program memory. There is single bus which fetches data and instructions. Execution time taken by the CPU to fetch a program is very high. The advantage is its simplicity and economy. Now, Harvard architecture, it uses two separate memory spaces for both data and program memory. There are two or more internal data buses which allow simultaneous access to both instructions and data. Time for execution of program is low. Its high speed execution time is at the cost of more hardware complexity. In microcontroller, of course we use Harvard architecture. It is also very useful in pipelining. Pipelining is nothing but while executing one instruction, we get data for another instruction. This is possible if we use separate program and data memory. So RAM and ROM are separately addressed by two separate buses in microcontroller. One Newman architecture uses common program memory and data memory. So instructions have to determine or the CPU have, has to determine if the byte obtained is data or instruction. This is called as, this is also called as Princeton architecture.